Hi, I'm Lisa Nelson, beauty maven and celebrity makeup artist. And today I'm going to be talking about how to do a full makeup. So just to catch you guys up on what we've done on our beautiful model, Jen Wiley, we've actually applied just some skin perfecting foundation where she needed it. We went ahead and went over the top with just a nice powder to absorb any excess oil or shine. Uh, then we contoured the face just a little bit with a pretty blush. We did fill in her eyebrows just a little. You want to do that, especially when you're creating a full makeup where everything's balanced and you're really building the face. So we just filled in her brows, went with the natural shape of her eyebrow. If you want to go ahead and close your eye for me. We did just some pretty bronze, and I did more of like an evening look on her that I think she could wear out to dinner or if she were going dancing. We just did something fun for her. So a little bit of glitter and shine in her wash shadow, which is sort of a gold tone. And then we went ahead and just filled in into the wing there with a bronze that's sort of a medium shine, we know, kind of a medium satin finish there. We did highlight underneath the brow bone just a little bit with sort of an off-white um, highlight eyeshadow. And then go ahead and open your eye for me. The inside of her inner moist, so the innermost part of the eye is called the inner moist, and that is actually where we did just a brown gel liner. We went ahead and rimmed that underneath with that same bronze that you'll see is sort of wrapped around into the wing. The lip color is just a pretty neutral, sort of a pink brown, and we filled that in with kind of a berry gloss. She has gorgeous, big, full lips. So when you're building your face and you want to really create a full makeup, you want to take a look at what your best features are and really find a way to play those up. So we did some liner on her and then just filled that in with a nice berry gloss. I'm going to go ahead and add some color in her cheeks because something that I want to teach you guys is that you want to always create harmony between the cheek area and the lip. These are the two areas that need to make sense um, when someone's looking at your face and, and assessing your makeup. So you want these two areas to be in harmony. So we're going to go ahead, we're working with just a simple contour brush. You know it's contour because it's sort of angled. We're going to lead with the blunt edge and just go ahead and build this color. This is a nice you know, harmonious color with what she has going on with her lips. This is sort of a berry tone. And I'm going just right on the cheekbone. We sort of start right here in the center where if she were looking straight forward, the color of her eye would line up. And we want to build this color gradually. Create a nice harmony and balance between her cheek and lip. And turn towards me. I love the berry tones on brunettes. I think that that is just really pretty. They work on blondes as well. We think as a brunette, we can carry a little bit more color. And that's fun to play with. This is going to help to outline her cheekbone. She has nice sculpted cheekbones. This will look just really pretty for an evening out. For me. One thing you could do too is sort of build this color along the jawline if she wanted to enunciate those lines, sort of sculpt the face a bit. You can contour with your blush as well. Pull it up onto the temples and in this way we kind of frame the face. Looks great. I'm Lisa Nilsson and that is how I would do a full makeup. 